You did good to come, Dolph. That was the right decision. I didn't have much of a choice. You always have a choice. When I was 16, a friend dared me to douse my face with acid. It was stupid. I wanted to impress him, and I did it without thinking about it. But I did have a choice. Look at me now. Who are you? I'm a man just like you. But I want to tell you a bit about what I do for a living. It might be of interest to you. I'm the founder of a company that specializes in abuse prevention for pets. I love pets more than anything in this world, and I can't stand the thought of them being hurt. Most people buy pets without considering the implications. They love them at first and care for them, but then lose interest day by day and start neglecting them. They stop loving them, causing the pets tremendous emotional pain, and they are unable to express it. That's how the dynamics of abuse set in. I've never abused my dog. I don't know why you're- Let me finish. Rather than taking action after the harm is done, and it's basically too late, I favor prevention. I only realized I loved my face after it had been burned with acid. But it was too late before. It was just my face. I didn't know I loved it. I only started loving it again when it had partially disappeared. Do you follow? Not really. Man gets accustomed and inured to things rapidly. He gets used to everything. When you get a new jacket, you are happy to wear it. But that joy wears off. You get accustomed, and after a few days, that jacket doesn't bring you any joy at all. On the other hand, if that jacket is stolen from you, desire ignites again inside of you. All of a sudden, you miss that jacket, and you love that jacket again. Sam goes for shoes. 